though. Now this is an extreme case. We're on a job where we're um, there's a lot of effervescence, and let me focus in on it a little bit so people can see how this white stuff will come about. Um, why does that white stuff come about? Well, basically, you have uh, uh, the mixing of moisture with um, with some of the concrete parts or the uh, concrete uh, that you're using. If there's a lot of moisture with it, it has a tendency to push out some of that effervescent over time. This so here was installed, this particular sidewalk was installed about three, four years ago. And now is the time where we came not only to fill the joints, but also to try and get rid of some of the effervescent. And uh, there's a couple things I just want to point out. For the effervescent, there's two types. There's A and B for Biprosico. Sure clean, and um, the A gets rid of the effervescent, and the B stops it from coming back. Is that right? That is, that is it. Out. And uh, you can see where we have applied it to the effervescent. I have taken a little in the coffee can because this is extreme stuff. You're using it with a steel brush, right? Yes, and I'm using it straight because this is really in there and it hasn't been done for years. So I'm using it straight. You gotta be careful that you don't burn the stone, the stone or the surrounding area. So they really need to read the instructions on that sure clean, right? Exactly. So what we have here, it seems to come off fairly decent. And I let it set a little so it can eat into it. And then, um, but normally they can just do it with this brush right over here, uh, this long handle brush. That's, they can just wipe it on with that and then that takes care of it that way, right? Yes, make sure they use uh, rubber gloves because all of this stuff is highly okay. toxic. And there's just two things in this job. We didn't do this job. We just wanted to point out, they didn't do a little overhang here, is that right? That's it. Usually what I would do is, instead of coming kind of flush, I would have this overhang an inch and a half to two. Then the water come running down here will just drip down and not run down like here on the face and begin staining it. I see, because there's too much water there. That's it. And uh, yeah, now we're going to okay. just show them how to uh, chisel out. Um, cracks happen for a lot of different reasons, right? They'll come in the yes, joints. Yes, it has basically to do with Sometimes the mortar mix is quite weak and it cracks over time. I'll show Sometimes a few cracks. Just the, just the <coughs> weather with thawing and freezing and thawing and freezing and uh, general wear and tear. After four or five years, you may have to replace some of these joints and we'll show you how to do it. We have an angle chisel here with about a two pound hammer. I use that to go down the joint. I use it kind of sideways. I try to get down at least three quarters of an inch okay. so the new cement has a hold on the joint. Now and you have to uh -huh. clean it out. And this is if you have to do it all and then by you hand it out. Uh -huh. and you don't have a demo saw. If you have the demo saw, which we will show you, you can come in on both sides of the joints and that makes the job a lot easier. So they, if they just have a couple uh, cracks after you know a year or two and they need to replace the joint, they can just get that angle chisel from like Home Depot or some other hardware store and yes. they just chisel it out like you do, three quarters of an inch, and then they sweep it out, exactly. um, come in with a broom. Now we're, we're gonna use the demo saw because this pad that um, we didn't do, but we're, um, we're repairing. We're repairing it for uh, somebody. Has a lot of cracks over the few years, so we're going to use a demo saw because it's, it takes us a long time to do it and makes our jobs a lot easier, right? And there's also a case for after you do the job to seal it. That prevents the water getting into the joints and doing damage. So it could be that they didn't seal it, and that's why they might have some of these cracks yes. as well. Okay, we'll show you the demo saw next.
So you just cut right through the uh, two sides of it, and then you're just gonna come in with this longer sharp chisel, and it just kind of pops right out. Exactly, right? and that is uh, guide, go along the stone on both sides, and as you can see, then this old cement comes out rather easy. And then when they, uh, now that it's all popped out, and then we'll sweep it out, Yes. Then um, you just fill it in like we did earlier on the tape, and then uh, that's all you do. Sponge it, and it's done, right? That's right. And then you have to clean it with uh, 600 detergent. Like we did just earlier. So that, that way they can always maintain, if they have an expansion joint and the joint pops out here and there, it's real easy to just cut out the joint. If they have a one, they can just do it with an angle chisel. If they have a lot, do it with a demo saw. Fill it in, and they got it. That's it. You can see how how much easier it is with a demo saw. However, like you said, if you have a little area, you certainly don't want to rent one. All right, okay.